Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Cause number one. TV software isn't up to date. Similar to your smartphone or computer, smart TVs contain firmware. This is essentially what operates your TV. It improves system performance and increases features. It also allows you to download and watch movies on various streaming applications. If your smart TV isn't updated to the latest version, you may miss out on several new features. Not to mention, there can be a lot of bugs and glitches. These bugs could include a distorted screen, faint colors, and of course, audio delay. Solution, to update your TV system software, you must first connect your TV to the internet. Firstly, use your remote's home button to navigate to settings and then additional settings. From there, select network and internet from the drop-down menu. Next, you may select your preferred Wi-Fi network. Once connected to the internet, go back to settings and choose device preferences. Then, select About to locate the system software option. When you choose system software, your TV will begin checking for a newer version available. If there's one, it'll display the message system update ready and begin upgrading its software. Cause number two, poor connection to source device. One of the most common reasons for TV sound delay is a bad connection between your TV and the source device. This applies to a cable box, DVD player, Blu-ray player, or any other device you may be using. Solution. Check if the cables connecting the TV to the source device are plugged in securely and correctly. To do this, you can unplug each cable and then reattach them one at a time. If you suspect the issue might be from the cable itself, grab yourself some new cables. Cause number three, channel broadcast issue. Sometimes sound delay might not stem from the TV, but from the channel itself. So try switching to another channel to check if the problem persists. If you continue to experience sound delay, then the cause is most likely local. However, if the other channels are working well, then the problem is due to the broadcast of this single channel. Solution. The first thing you should do is notify your cable or satellite provider of the problem. In the meantime, you can try power resetting your TV. There are two ways you can do this. Unplugging the power cable, turn the TV off, remove the power cable from the wall outlet, wait for 60 seconds, replug the power cable into the wall outlet, turn the TV on. Using the TV menu, press the home button on your remote control. Navigate to settings, select about, Choose Restart. Cause number four, game mode is on slash off. Most of the newer TV models include a game mode feature. This allows the TV to skip numerous video processors, reducing the amount of time the TV requires to process visual signals. This feature is designed to reduce game lag and ensure that controller actions reach the screen as fast as possible. That said, Game mode should only be activated during gaming. This is because enabling it when watching TV might create sound delays and vice versa. Solution. To enable or disable game mode, hit the home button on your remote. Navigate to settings and then to picture adjustments. Select picture mode and you'll find game mode. From there, you may enable or disable it as needed. Cause number five. TV cache is full. A cache is a type of memory storage on your TV. Many applications use your TV's cache to store temporary data, which helps them operate faster. However, the cache might fill up over time, resulting in a variety of issues, such as frozen TV memory and sound delays. Solution. Clearing the cache on your television improves its performance and reduces lag. Here are five steps to clear it. Press the home button on your remote. Go to settings. Choose applications. Select manage installed applications. Select each app individually and then choose clean cache. If you are still having trouble, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post 
linked in the description with any new fixes that appear.